For the third year in a row, the Contemporary Art Fair in New York City was held at the Jacob Javits Center, and the Great Nude once again hosted a sketch session for the exhibiting artists and visitors to this colorful arts and crafts fair. This year's Contemporary Art Fair was twice the size of last year's event, with the addition of Art Off the Main showcasing the works of African, Caribbean, and Latin American artists. The nude was well represented here by a large mixture of cultures. There were so many great nudes, I felt like a kid in a candy store, and I barely managed shooting this video before the doors opened to the public. Artist Bob Clyatt blends his interest in Asian traditions with his experimentation in figurative works. His sculptures are emotional and evocative of so many traditional approaches to presenting the human spirit. The big question of why we're here. Among the artists I discovered in Clyde's show Beyond Rodin was the sculpture team of Joan Benefiel and Jeremy Leichman, whose luminous candy-colored statues captured my eye. The sculpture team has been working on launching an outdoor installation of their works on the piers of the waterways up here in the Northeast. I've seen their works outdoors in the sunlight. It's really something to see. Make sure to catch that video Beyond Rodin to see that. I'm looking forward to seeing their works progress too. Another thing I love about the Contemporary Art Fair is the focus on artists who are also good at their crafts. I met a sculptor from Maine whose sinuous male and female figures were carved from the most gorgeous of woods. Look at the care that went into these pieces. The African-themed work of Woodrow Nash is something you'll never forget once you see it. This is his third year at the Contemporary Arts Fair, and I always seek out his booth to see what new works he has on display. His individually glazed ceramic torsos are very popular. The figures themselves are more marvelous up close and come across as quite real, made more human with their dusty earth and coloration, as if they had just wandered in from the Serengeti. Both the figures and their clothing also have wonderful patterns worked into them. On close inspection, Nash's techniques with clay are very polished and consistent. His work is a thrill to examine. Near the Great Nude's sketch sessions was this large, swiveling sculpture that I just had to see up close. And there, I discovered a booth full of excellent figurative works by Jamaican-born artist Basil Watson, who had come to New York with his work for the first time and was testing out the marketplace at the Javits Center. From his Degas-like statues to his gestural figurative drawings, this artist exemplifies for me the relationship between the model and artist and how important life studies are to the process of creating beautiful figurative artworks. Basil took time out with us from sales to join our sketch session several times during the weekend and left me with some wonderful drawings. When I launch the Great Nudes Registry, you can be sure to see Basil's work there too. Here's the work of artist Larry Wood, who I just saw last month at the Gracie Park Art Fair. His booting figures are etched and tinted onto sanded sheets of metal. Blending cruciforms and Christian themes with hints of bondage and leather fetishes makes these works truly stand out here at the Javits Center. These are not subtle. The figures are in pain and anguish. These works also require your movement in order to see the full drawings through the reflected light, making the bodies appear like ghosts out of the fog as you move around them. The lights at the Javits Center were a bit too bright for this artist's work, so I shot most of these from very high up looking down in order to catch less of the highlights. Some of these narrow metal panels are six to seven feet tall. It's great stuff, and a wonderful technique. Finally, we get to the Great Nudes sketch sessions, which we've held at the Jacob Javits Center within the Contemporary Art Fair for each of the last three years. Our stage was set with plenty of seating and surrounded by drawings from previous public sketch sessions. This year, we presented three well-known New York life models during the three-day weekend. Ava, Liliana, and Aubrey. 
Many of the exhibiting artists here took a little time off from their booths to draw with us, and visitors to the art fair were treated to a first-hand look at the art-making process between model and artist. Here's a few shots of artists at work and some of the drawings they've created. Artists who couldn't make it to the Javits Center should make sure to check out the Models Library for some select photos from that event that we provided for your reference. Thanks for watching the Great TV. Make sure to check out the website for more information on our upcoming artist registry.